and having had that experience, it's a whole lot, you know, I mean, I can see a lot of things in spirit now, which is kind of cool, but I can tell sometimes people believe in things that's different than experiencing it. I mean, I have this gift that I can hold that energy around people, and they can really feel it a whole lot more than just believing it in their mind. Not that long ago, all of a sudden, I had a new understanding of what happened during my near-death experience. And it was basically about meditating, because when I meditate, it, it is like I am attempting to go to that place and do that thing that happened. And it was like, oh, and it was this whole new level of knowing that I have no idea. <laughs> when you can let go of it in your mind, and then you go there, and it was like, oh, man, I was shown this, you know, however... 40 years ago or whatever. Um, so a lot of it was not direct information, but my understanding is it's just, you know, I guess in the way we think of angels, that's what it's like. It's like we're like angels and we, although we're not angels, but it's like that and we live in this wonderful place that is kind of like what people think of as heaven. And that's and there is work to do and there's stuff to learn there, but there's no physical body. And it, it just is that feeling that I was describing, how, you know, feeling so good and knowing everything and loving everything. That's my understanding. That's, yeah, even it starts, you know, it's, even now it's like almost starting to laugh and I almost feel like crying. It's so beautiful. That's how wonderful it is. And I have to remember to connect it up because I am still of the physical world and, um, there's a lot of things that go on that are, and, you know, I, there's things in the spirit that are challenging us doing that, so it takes, and I encourage the listeners to meditate regularly and journal write. Those are probably the two most important things. And take care of yourself, honor your gifts, whatever it is, whatever that thing is inside of you that's a gift, your positive attributes, just really honor and I want to say honor, 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 because I don't even, again, it's kind of like you just respect that, those gifts from God so much that that you're honoring yourself and this thing I'm talking about, but they're together. You know, Feeling it in there, I just want to kind of close my eyes and float away. So it, there is some of that, but there is doing things, I think being of service, um, I I mentioned my daughter's going to be going to college, so most of her life, you know, I've been involved with the local school system, doing volunteer work, I, you know, do things with local churches, you know, anything. And the the church thing, I don't think, you know, a big part about churches are that you get to do good things and you meet good people. You don't have to buy into some of the religious things that are, judging people and putting them down, but there, you know, there's people there willing to work on themselves. There's people there wanting to create good things in the world, so, and in, hopefully in schools too, in the community. So that's, I just encourage everyone to really embrace their gifts and go for it, whatever, however silly they seem, whether it's, I don't know, you know, I mean, being a parent is probably the greatest gift, that's for sure.